Hi everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, so I, uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm feeling and, and I feel and look pretty rough. And so I don't know if this is just sort of a temporary thing or if it's, um, <coughs> allergies or illness or what it is, but, um, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent by any stretch. So what I'm going to do is, um, same thing I always do. <laughs> I uh, did stop before making the video and this is your Tuesday reading. I asked spirit to give me a message for the vibe for the collective for today. And, um, and it took a minute because I am, I'll be honest, I, I, there's not one part of me that fills up to speed right now, but, um, I wanted to check in and it's, it's as good for me to do these videos as it is. I, I hope for, for you guys, I don't know if it is or not. Some of you may just watch to be entertained and that's okay too. Um, but, um, the vibe and the energy for today. Hi, I'm Holly, by the way, psychic medium energy reader. And uh, extraordinarily <laughs> worn thin. Um, okay, so the vibe I got, and I even asked Spirit, I'm like, is this just for me? Is this just for me? Is this, or is this the general vibe for the collective? That's what I'm here for, the general vibe for the collective. And I got, no, this is sort of what a lot of people will need to hear. And it, this is a general reading, so it can't resonate for everyone. But what I heard was, you are enough. Because I specifically asked for a word or a phrase or something that I could give everyone. Um, and it was, you are enough. And I, I didn't know where it was going to go today, but... Isn't this cool? I love this mug so much. And uh, it just screams the holiday season, right? And uh, the shape of it, it feels good in my hands. And um, something about, hi, huh, baby, there's my girl. There you are. Here she is, everybody. Her little, little cat, little cute cat. Oh, thank you, baby. Um, but um, the birds just... It, it feels like home and it feels like protection to me, okay? And then I pulled a card to piggyback because I thought, you know, let me confirm this vibe. I mean, it's a beautiful sentiment, but it's like, okay, so for everyone else, we'll get into why this is important today with the card spread in a minute, okay? Uh, since this is a general reading, I do like to use cards. Um, I don't do personal readings any longer, but when I did, I just read straight energy, sat down, got started. Um, but um, this is general, so I, I do love using cards for general readings. All right. Um, so the Daily Affirmations deck, how beautiful is that? Um, I uh, pulled a card, and this very clearly jumped out. And it said, listen to the whispers inside my heart. Yeah. Listen to the whispers inside my heart. And so I think that just confirmed. You know what you need to do. You know. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit, so much. Because I'm asking them to help me out here. Um, you know what is best for you. And you know what you need. Okay. So you are enough. You have one, you are enough. Two, you have enough. Three, you will always be cared for in um and what they want me to communicate too is that this is a temporary existence. Okay, just remember that. Not that we need to rush it, we've got lots to do, and there will be challenging challenging days as well as the blissful and wonderful days but every day really and truly and the message is just this is really ramping up now so it's um the message of those who come into incarnations are incredibly strong people and so there is a purpose to be had 
Um, and even when the times seem difficult, it's important to cherish and have gratitude for what for what we know, who we are, what we possess within us as innate qualities. And because if you are here with me right now watching this, then more than likely, um, you know, not everybody, a lot of people just like to be rude or make jabs or whatever because they don't have anything better to do. And that's, you know, whatever, go on with yourself. Uh, you know, that's fine. But the vast majority of people are here because there is this sense of connection to the higher self, connection to the all that is, connection to an understanding that there is more than the day-to-day -day existence that, that we live. All right. So it is important to make that daily living as comfortable as we can, as healthy as we can. But... Um, But yeah, it, they're they're reminding me of that phrase. You know, it's like we're we're not, um, we're not a body with a. I can't remember now. You don't, you all know what it is. I always remember stuff and only half remember it. It's a. <laughs> it's the um. You know, we're we're a soul having a human existence, not a human existence experiencing the soul. Or you know that that's not quite right. But you know what I mean. So it's, sorry, baby, I know that scares you a little bit. Thank you for being such a good girl, though. No. All right. Well, let's get to it. I'm going to start with, because this is what I was gravitating toward, okay? Um, the old style Lenoma. Any of the Lenoma decks are so cool. I just love these decks. They're always very easy to shuffle because it's a smaller number. Um, they're read differently. You read them as... Um, one card is dependent on the previous card, and it's that way to a large degree in, in tarot uh, as well. But this the, the meanings behind the images on the cards are slightly different as well. Okay, this just opened up right here to book. So we're going to leave that out as the first one. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what else we've got after I have a little sip of my coffee. Oh. This is a peppermint flavored coffee. It's delightful. All right. So book. What else have we got? It's all right, baby. It's all right, little sweet baby. Okay. There we go. Oh, my word. Okay. Finally got another one. And we have cross okay what else i know there's something else there's got to be there's gonna not nah, there doesn't have to be but um and this is a general reading general reading i mean if it resonates great if it doesn't take what does leave the rest or you know maybe it come back later and it will mean have meaning for you then all right i'm not getting any dates where it is it has to be the tuesday reading i mean this could be just whenever you come across it um, I will let you know if there are dates or specific time frames involved. Um, all right. So, you know, it's interesting. When this first card came out book, I was in my head thinking letter, and that's the one that just now came out. So we've got book, cross, letter. That's a lot of written communication. And the cross, very often, people think of dogma, religion, um, and because the theme here is the written word, spoken or it could be spoken or written word, but I think it's in this instance a little bit more the written word, uh, the written codified religious documents uh, associated with the cross. So, and then the last card that just now came out while I was shuffling and talking is fish. So abundance and more. They're saying one more. Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep going, you all. I'm going to keep going with it. And then I'm going to ask Spirit to take over and help me to understand where this is going and what it's for. Well, okay, that didn't take long. 
All right, and Stork. Okay. All right. Somebody wants to come home. Someone is really, really wanting to come home. Okay. Um, someone wants a sense of home if they are, if, if there is already, if they're not away and they're already within the family unit or within the household, uh, they want to renew or refresh just like this. This Okay. It all always links together. Somehow it always comes together. So, um, I do not believe in coincidence. It always all comes together the way it should. So, I picked this mug because these the birds on it remind give me a sense of uh, rootedness, home, and um, red birds were always so important to um, my grandmother. So mm. they are for a lot of people. Um, okay, so um, but someone is reaching out that they are ready to take a firm committed stand about what they believe in they want more and they want home they want a sense of home this could be you within yourself thank you spirit i can feel when they step in because i just feel stronger and um an expansion i don't feel i don't feel small and weak um so when spirit steps in, that's when I feel like I take a deep breath. And so I can feel that this is where the message is coming from. So this is not me just reading surface value um, of, of cards, pieces of paper. So someone, okay, I just heard at a distance. So someone who is not, who is, okay, at first I wasn't sure. Now they're telling me in this instance, okay, in this instance, um, someone who is not in the home or household. I keep hearing household. So someone who is not in the household. So distance could be across town. Distance could be across the country or territory or province or wherever it is you live. But someone who is not in your household is going to reach out to let you know that they want to make something legal and binding. Not, I don't know about the legal part, but binding in some way. Because in this instance, I feel like the cross could be like... Uh, it, it, I'm getting commitment more than anything. So I don't know if that means legally binding like a contract um or if that means just uh an emotional spiritual commitment you know um but it could be both because the letter could be a con this could be a contract it, it might be more than just confirming that there is going to be um a statement made or reaching out or something like that through communication um, that could start in the written form but so I feel like there are two things going on one could be that someone that is not in the household will reach out to say that they need more they want to offer more and they need home and they want to be part of a household they need more they need a sense of home for someone else this could be you are getting ready to or they are getting ready to either offer or sign a contract of some kind. And I think that's it because I'm hearing the bells ding, ding, ding. That's, you know, whee, you got it. <laughs> um, so, <coughs> so this is, um, I think, an example of someone who, um, or in this instance, this is a case of, not an example, this is a case of someone who... Yeah, and there are two parties. So I don't feel like this is, this could be a group, a 
corporation organization, but I feel like a contract. I'm getting multiple images in my head, and I'm getting multiple feelings and, and insights into what this could be. So I think this covers a lot of ground. This could be more than one thing. I'm getting three distinct possibilities. The first one, someone at a distance is going to reach out. They're going to say they want more. What that entails, um, that, is, that will wait to be seen. But there is this sense of missing a, a sense of connection and home. You feel like home to someone. Um, the other reading of this spread of cards is that someone who I think is closer but wants to communicate and wants to make a serious, rooted, spiritual connection to create a sense of inclusiveness and home together. But it's something that already exists. It's not something that someone's going to reach out. And then the third way to read this is that someone is getting ready. The contract is coming through really big, really intensely. So someone is a, uh, sorry, I'm having trouble catching my breath. Um, someone is, and this could be, because I'm also getting, it could be two individuals, or it could be like a it could even be a nonprofit, a nonprofit, a corporation, or some corporate figure who is there, someone who is the representative of a business or corporation that will offer a contract for you to sign. And so that could be a work related thing. And that that's gonna happen really soon. So in less than 30 days, your life is gonna look really different if that's the case for you. Um, so, uh, read the fine print. Uh, just make sure you read everything before you sign it so there are no surprises. There could be some softly worded things in this contract that you may need to question, and it's okay to ask questions and clarification. Um, I mean, this is your life you're talking about, and when you put your name on a contract, it becomes a binding document. So you want to make sure you, um, you know, you, the sense of your name and standing behind your name and the written name, uh, whether it's an electronic signature or a, a regular wet signature, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you stand behind your name. So if you've got a question or you need something clarified, Go ahead and ask the question, you know, hey, I just got a quick question about this one phrasing. Uh, I want to make sure I understand it. Don't feed them what you think it means. Just say that and see what they come up with. What, what do they tell you? Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, could you just explain it to me, please? It would really help me. Okay? Let, don't feed them the information you want them to spit back at you. So, um, okay. All right, so I think that's the, the bulk of that. Uh, a sense of connection, home, uh, coming from three different places, depending on who this reading is for. And, um, yeah, communication, both written and written, remember, could be email, text, uh, document, whatever. Um, I am still seeing, I think for the middle, like reading two for that spread, uh, some of the written communication could also be like a religious document of some kind. Okay. All right. So let's move on. Let's do the Rebecca Campbell, the Healing Waters guidebook. There we go. Oh, that's the guidebook. <laughs> that's the name of the deck. Just, I'm just reading. Okay. Now I've got my glasses on so I can see it. Um, this is a beautiful deck. This is just such a cool, beautiful deck. It's very ethereal. It's like a lot of watercolors um, um, or, or watercolor images and pastels. So let's see what's going on. Let's get a message. I feel like I mean, this is the one I grabbed, so I guess this is the one we need. God, I'm sore. Um... I'm sorry, I'm whining. I'm really whining today. 
<laughs> I don't think I'm sick. I think I'm worn out and worn down. And because I'm really achy and sore and, uh, yeah, I, I think that's causing a lot of inflammation and some of the other issues. So I, after, after my coffee, I think I'm going to go make some nettle tea and I'm going to, um, Mm, yeah, because I'm really achy. So I think I will feel better in a couple of days. But um, I, yeah, I think I may even feel better by tomorrow. If this is not, if I'm not having this kind of reaction by tomorrow, then I would say it's inflammation. And inflammation, man, it is real. It is so real. As, um, I mean, most autoimmune illnesses and diseases it's inflammation that's causing the problem so be aware of what you're eating all right this one just flipped off the bottom huh. okay this was on the bottom but when i held the deck up to show it to you guys it was on the top so i guess we need to read this one um the sweet waters sensuality romance enjoyment fertility imbalance well yahoo all right Okay, thank you. And I know exactly what that's about. All right, so if you, somebody needs to, to be pampered and romanced. And more than likely, if you're watching, that's you. So um, romance doesn't have to mean getting um, roses and chocolate. Um, and something formal. Romance could be kindness. Being kind and nurturing to yourself, romancing yourself, giving yourself uh, a, a treat and a holiday and a, a wonderful um, comfort food meal and like me making nettle tea for myself in a minute. Um, so... Um, it could be that someone else does that, but it doesn't make it any less significant if you have to do that for yourself. Create sumptuous, and, and they use the word sensual, but what I'm getting is more of a sumptuous, cushioned, compassionate, wonderful setting um, because, you know, I think most people take care of so many other people, either energetically, emotionally, physically, financially, in whatever way. We've got to remember to turn some of that on ourselves, okay? There is nothing to apologize for. When you do that, it, it charges up your battery so that you can keep going and do more, okay? I keep saying okay a lot. <laughs> Sorry, you all. Um, let's do one more. Okay, and so I think that was just the quick message about, you know, we just had that reading about hearth and home and, and making everyone else feel like they have a sense of safety and security in a homestead. Well, you know what? We need that too. You need that. I need that. All the caregivers in the world need that. It's time that it's okay for you to do that for yourself if there's no one else to do it and if there is someone else to do it it's okay to to let them do it okay expect them to and let them once you know it's because we don't always let people take care and help us i know i'm not good at it i'm just terrible at receiving but you know we gotta learn to start receiving if we want to if we want to receive you know, sometimes we complain about having to do all the work, but if we don't allow others to help us out, then, you know, I don't know how else we're not going to have to do all the work. All right. I need another little sip before I go on. Hold on just a minute, you all. Mmm. And I know my voice is kind of awful, so I hope I'm I hope I'm clear and not muttering and getting my words all mishmashed up. Okay, let's. Oh, what am I using? Let me show you. I'll show you. It's one of my favorites. 
the pulp tarot. Okay. So, dun, dun, dun. You know what that means. We are going to have just a straightforward message. Because I'm in kind of a straightforward mood. Oh, look at that. Five of Swords. Someone is getting ready to say, uh, enough, enough is enough. Not taking any prisoners. Come on. Time to, I'm, I'm about ready to, I'm about ready to claim what's mine. Now, I don't know what that's going to mean, but, all right, that's the card that I was shown in the stack, but then that's not the beginning of this particular part of the reading. So let's keep going and saying what is going to be the reading. Oh, yeah, see, and it's easier for me to shuffle now, so it's working, and I'm asking Spirit to intervene, and I'm going to do some work on myself, and um, this one, this little clump jumped out to the side. Okay. Yeah. All right. Huh. Okay. Well, we're going to put those three right there. There are three cards that stood out kind of to the side. I feel like we need to get another one. All right. So let me just do a quick shuffle. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that one jumping up and did a somersault. Landed right on the other cards. Hey, I like that. Yeah, they said, uh-uh. Uh, and it was said in a way that I wouldn't say it. They said, no more. I, I wouldn't use that combination of words. So that's interesting that that's how it would come up. Okay, there's someone here uh, helping me out. There is a grandmother image, and English was not her first language. This was... Uh, Totally crossed over, yeah, fully crossed. What it what she almost she feels like she's when she was in, in living form Yeah, that phrase, no more, is significant. And she's almost, this feels very, it feels like she had kind of olive skin, darker hair. So I feel like she came from, um, it wasn't Greece or like Sar Sardinia or any of that. Where is Sardinia? I don't even know where that is. Um, I know it's in that area. Um it is its own country, I think, though. I don't think it's a city. I think it's a country. Oh, my God. How bad am I? Oh, jeez. Louise, man. Okay, I feel like she was... I feel like she was specifically not just from Italy, but I think Sicily. It's a name I don't understand, but I, I always thought it was a male name. But it's like G U I S I. Don't know. There's some P's in it, like Giuseppe or something. But that's always I thought was a man's name. If there's a female variant of that, let me know what it is. Because uh, I feel like that's part of her name somehow. But it's definitely female. Um. Is there anyone you want me to say anything to, or is, why, why are you here? I'm not being rude. I am. Uh, I'm just trying to understand why you're here because I don't. I don't know you. Oh, I came along after the fact, but this is connected to someone that. Have I met someone that you're related to? Oh, okay. I'm hearing yes. Huh. Okay. She could be a little harsh in life. She she had a mouth on her. Um but she she yeah, she would tell it like it is, you know? All right. So what is it that you okay, why are you coming through here? 
She just enjoys what's happening and wants to hang out. And she's kind of helping me out with this particular spread because she likes that deck too. No, I want your help. Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. No, don't go anywhere. It's pretty short. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, no, I got to stay away from the carbs, though. She wants me to eat something, but what she's talking about is the food's different now, so it's not as healthy and not, you know, so I shouldn't eat that. Yeah, that's what I want, but i got to be a little better than that. Um, <laughs> she's showing me this array of stuff she would make that she she's still, yeah. Okay. All right, now let's let me show let me show you all the cards and then please chime in with what you're telling the collective. Oh, this is oh yeah that and that's why she came through when I pulled out this deck. She wants um, this woman wants um, she's very strong and very opinionated and even though she was born in a time when women uh, didn't really have any. God, I hope we don't go back to that. Um, but. Uh, a time when women really had zero rights and were property and um but she is like take control of your life and what you want don't waste the opportunities given to you that you have right now and um male or female um orientation it, it doesn't matter um because she's saying it is a very unique time period. That's my language, not hers, but that's what she's communicating. It's a very unique time period and that um, take advantage of what we have right now. It will help to keep it alive. But she also wants you to make sure you eat something that you really want. <laughs> today. All right, so how do these cards fit in? Show me how these cards fit in and guardians and guides help too. Okay. So the first card is the lovers. And this is, uh, this version of the lovers is about temptation. And then we have the, uh, eight of cups. So someone is walking away from temptation. I don't think this is about romance. This is embarking on a journey. Yeah. She's saying, yeah, that's it. I got it. I'm getting it. Okay. King of Swords. Here, let me present you with the sword. It's kind of what he looks like. <laughs> I have this lovely sword. I will give it to you for five ninety nine. <laughs> it looks like he's. <laughs> you will get a free sheath with it. <laughs> like okay, he just reminds me of a used car salesman. Look at this. It's lovely. And then we have. Ending with the fool. She is running for everything she's got and happy about it. Come on, baby. You want to come back up? i got two of the babies in here now. So this is, yeah, this one, even though it started with the lovers, and uh, it, the, the apple, the apple tree, temptation, all of that, that is what that card's about in this instance. It's not about romance or anything like that. And she is like... You know, you gotta, there's something coming up for whomever this, whomever this reading is for, which is for, which is separate from the last one. She's saying that, um, this is about walking away from unhealthy temptation. Uh huh, like, like some of the food you're showing me. Um, but boy, it looks good. Um, walking away from unhealthy temptation. Now, this, this King of Swords. Even though I know it's a King of Swords, I saw it as an Ace of Swords. And so that's how I'm going to take it. Um, you may, through a male figure or a dominant figure, um, receive information that gives you the information and the download basically you need. Because I feel like there's going to be a download as part of it, too. You're going to have that aha moment. I don't, I don't think this person is even going to be aware that they're 
they're giving you that aha moment or that epiphanal moment. So someone may give you um, information, a task, a job. So it could be an employer. It could be someone in a position of authority who says something and you're like, whoa, I know exactly what I need to do now for me. And it's not this. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I needed to say. And you are getting ready to embark on a whole new journey. So someone may be preparing to walk away from a job. I feel like it's work-related. I, I do feel like someone is getting ready to walk away from one job to embark on something brand new. Um... And this is a general reading. Don't go quitting your job just because I said something, okay? You know, you got to think your way through things. Um, but I do feel like someone has had enough. Enough is enough. And, and maybe that's why this lady came through. Because she is, man, she didn't play around. She's like, mm-mm, no. And, and she's actually uh, jumping on the bandwagon now saying, hey, you deserve more. You deserve better. That initial message, you are enough. She's, she's like, yep. Um, you, don't ha you don't have to take crumbs. You don't have to take... You don't have to take... You just don't have to take it, period. You know, if it's frustrating, if it's breaking you down, she was like, you know... You've got all this energy, all this vibrancy, all this light and love in you. This is some trauma drama going on right here with that apple and the temptation and the tree. Apples are good. They're even better in a pie. No. <laughs> all of a sudden I'm thinking on about food and okay. Um so yeah. You are getting ready to embark for this, whomever this reading applies to, you are getting ready to embark on a journey. And it is going to be one that will be life-changing, but it will be exciting, and it will definitely shake up the status quo. She likes I just threw that in there. Do you have anything else you want to say to them right now? No, she's just, she's, she's patting me on the shoulder and she's just saying, go rest, go rest. You need to rest. You know, it's funny. I, I, I know that she was like Italian Sicilian, but I'm also hearing someone else is coming through now because I'm hearing yeah, I'm hearing Bubby, so this is a totally different, I'm just still a grandmother. All right, yeah, and I'm just hearing, just go rest, go rest, you need rest. So I think I'm going to call it a day with the reading. Oh, it's already kind of long. Hmm. Well, what do you know? All right. And I'm not taking these glasses off because I am way puffy and my nose is starting to drip. So <laughs> I guess it is time for me to call it, call it a night. So anyway, little baby here, you want to say good night? Yeah, see little squinty eyes. I don't know if it's good night or good morning. It's it's pretty pretty. It's rolled over to 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 Tuesday. <laughs> I'm doing this in the middle of the night. I think. All right, everyone, I'm sending you so much love and gratitude, and uh, I hope you can, I hope I'm speaking clearly enough, and I hope you can make out what I'm saying, <laughs> and uh, we will talk to you later. All right. Have a wonderful day. Do something good for yourself. All right. Bye-bye.